cooking channel. I'm Darren and today I'm going to actually do a comparison cook. I've got two pork butts. I think I, in one of my other videos I showed you I went and I bought some uh, pork butt. Uh, my son's going away to a um, North Carolina camp for church and every year I usually make some pulled pork for them to take with them up there. Um, so I'm going to do that this year. I need to get it done by Wednesday. So I'm going to actually do a test. I'm going to do one pork butt where we're going to sous vide it and smoke it. And then one pork butt, I'm going to cook the traditional way. So I got to get the pork butt in that we're going to sous vide in tonight so that I can have it ready for Monday to uh, actually go up against the uh, one we're going to do traditionally. So I'm going to put the first one, the one on sous vide, is going to go in for 36 hours at 155. And then this one we're going to throw on on uh, Tuesday for about eight or ten hours on the smoker and that's all. So we're going to have one that we're going to actually post smoke this one when it comes out of the sous vide we're going to post smoke it for about two and a half hours to three hours and this one we're just going to smoke the whole time. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm getting ready to put some uh, pecan butter rub from Running Wild on there. Uh, I love the pecan butter rub on pork. It goes really well with pork and chicken. But I'm going to do both of these with the yeah, pecan I got these butter rub down. Oh, another thing I wanted to tell you, the one that we are going to sous vide, I did cut a little bit more of the fat cap off of it. I did trim both of them, but I did leave a little bit more on the one we're just going to smoke for eight or ten hours just to help protect that. It's going to be able to render that fat down more than the sous vide one will. So I did leave a little bit more fat on that one. I did take most of the fat cap off on okay, the guys, one. Okay guys, I got the uh, one that we're just going to smoke only in the Ziploc bag and that's going to get thrown in the refrigerator. And I got the one we're going to start sous vide and we got it in the uh, expandable Ziploc bag, or the expandable vacuum seal bag that's been double, triple sealed. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this on the uh, sous vide right now. Okay guys, the oh, sous vide yeah. is up to 155. It's going to sit there right at 155. And we are ready to throw this in, and it will sit in here for 36 hours. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my rack on top of it. Because remember, it will float. We got plenty of room in that cooler. So that rack will keep it down there in the water. And it's sitting right at 155. It'll be there for 36 hours, and then when we come back, We'll throw the other one okay, on the smoker. Okay, back. Um, the sous vide pork butt is right at 36 hours, just a little over. And we're going to go ahead and take it out and throw it in the refrigerator. Then I'm going to get the fire going, and then we're going to throw the smoked pork butt only on the grill. Let that get some get going and cooking. And when it's about eight hours in, I'm going to go ahead and throw the sous vide pork butt on so that can get some smoke. Hey guys, just trying to get my well. fire going so I can get my smoked only pork butt on. I'm going to be using hickory today. Or actually, yeah, I'm going to be using some hickory today. And what I'm going to do is going to let this uh, pork butt cook for about eight hours and I'm going to throw the other one on. So I'm going to add a little bit more hickory. I'm going to pull my divide and conquer system out and add a, another block of hickory in there when I put the other pork butt on there. So it has a chance to get some more smoke to it as well. So. All right, guys, I'll let this get the, uh, going, and all the hair's getting going. I'm going to drop my chunks of hickory in there. Just going to use a couple big ones, a couple small ones. That should be enough for now. And I'm going to let this fire get up to temp, and then we'll throw the pork foot on. So it's I'll see you back in a few. It's all stabilized right around 250. Got my pork foot out here. I'm going to go ahead and throw that on. Smoke's going to die down, and I'm going to get this thrown right on the grill here. So, I'm going to throw this one on, it's going to be on there for a good eight hours or so, and then we're going to throw the other one on that's been uh, sous vide first. So, I'm going to get this on, and we'll see you again probably in about well, eight back hours. It's been about six hours now, and uh, the pork butt that's on the smoker only is probing about one... 75 to 180 all around it so that means it's getting close to about a couple hours to being done so I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, one that we sous vide on uh, ooh, it's already falling apart still but I'm going to put a little bit more rub on it not much just a little bit 
give it kind of a, so it can get a little crust to it. And then we are gonna go throw it on the smoker right next to the one that's uh, on there right now. So it's still sitting right at 250. And as you can see, the smoke only one is sitting on there pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and put the one that we sous vide on right next to it. And I did put it on our little rack so it would uh, get it above the uh, above the pan there so it's not just sitting on its own juices so we can get kind of the smoke all the way around it. But I'm gonna go ahead and keep this on there for about two and a half, three hours till that one's done. That one should be all done, crisped up. It's got some smoke to it. I did throw another piece of hickory in there so you can see it's got a little bit more smoke coming out. So we will close this up and we will be back in about two and a half guys, I think we're about done here. I probed the uh, smoke only one. And it's well over 190, right about 195 most everywhere. But it's probing really tender too. It's going in there pretty good. So I think that's done. And this one, we put it in cold. it had been cold for a while. So it's actually pretty tender already anyway, but it's over 170, so it's good. It was falling apart when we pulled it out of the sous vide. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these off the grill. We're going to set them up next to each other, take a look at them, get some more picks, and we'll see which one's better. And there they are, guys, right next to each other. Definitely the one on the left is the uh, smoked only one, only cooked on the Tomato Joe, cooked for a little over eight and a half hours. It does look more like a traditional, you know, pulled pork that you'd pull off there. But since we're going to be chopping all this up to serve it anyway, what it looks like coming off the grill really doesn't make a whole lot of difference. You can tell it does have a little bit more darker bark on it. Looks a little bit more black and crispy. But it's uh, looking good. And the one that was sous vide, it has its own little bark, but it's a little more of a mahogany since it hasn't sat in there for eight and a half hours. It's more of a mahogany type bark, but I know it's tender because it was falling apart when I took it out of the bag. Well, they're all done. They both smell wonderful. They can smell that hickory smoke. Like I said, this one, you know, it's nice and juicy. It's got a little bit more darker bark to it. This one is nice and juicy as well more of a mahogany type bark and it's got a little some crispy parts to it just like this one did but just not as bad they're both pretty good looking and we're going to come back in a little bit i'm going to pull this apart take a couple pieces and put them to the side and then in a little bit spencer's going to taste test it and not know which one's which and he's going to tell us right. what he likes better this is the one that was sous vide and then smoked so it looks like pulled pork it's still got some, you know, bark chunks in there. Um, it smells very smoky. And it's pretty moist and tender. So I just pulled that up. And I'm going to go ahead and put some aside for Spencer for the taste test when he gets back. But I just wanted to let you guys All right, see guys, that. we're back. And here is the taste test. Spencer just got back from golfing, so he doesn't know which one's which. So you got... A on his left and B on his right. So I want you to go ahead and take a bite of A first. Get a little bit of the bark too. Mm -hmm. Okay. I want mm. you to taste it for tenderness, smokiness, everything. And then take a drink of water and then we'll taste the other one. It's tender. I like that one. That was good. Pretty smoky. Okay, now so let's try B. A lot less smoky on that one. Mm. Less smoky on that mm -hmm. one. Take another bite. Definitely less smoky on that one. Hmm, that's interesting. Take a drink and then take another bite. Mm. Or just take another bite. Mm. Mm. A is more smoky. Yeah, this one's better. They're both about the same tenderness. Would you eat both of them? Uh-huh. 
if I gave you a plate of either one, would you say, no, I don't want it? No, I would eat them both. Okay. I'd just eat this one. Okay, so more. A was more better for you. Okay. Well, there you have it. A was the one that I sous vide first and put in the smoker for two and a half hours after. And B was the one I smoked the whole time. He'd eat both of them, but he said A was better, the sous vide Q. Mm -hmm. So, unbiased opinion from a growing boy. But mm -hmm. he would probably eat both of them and not even worry about it. So. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for joining us, guys. Make sure you subscribe, like us, and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. We'll see you in the next video.